Okay, so what happens if we need a decimal number? So those are called floating point numbers or floats. Uh, number, numbers with a decimal point. So um, uh, so it's a real number would have the form m times 10 to the e, where e would be uh, the exponent, where e is the exponent and m is called the mantissa. Okay, well, uh, for instance, the binary number 2 over 16, <coughs> which is equal to this, could be written like, I'm sorry, is equal to 1 plus 1 quarter plus 1 sixteenth. We also have a single data type, uh, which is a little bit, um, doesn't reserve as much memory. So it uh, only needs 32 bits of uh, memory or four bytes called single pre precision. And it has a range from here to here. If it's negative and positive from here to here. So remember, this is, um, the sign is negative, the sign is negative. This sign is not, um, uh, it doesn't make the number negative. This means negative exponent, which means raised to the 44th, 45th power means a very, very small number, right? If you have a negative exponent, a large negative exponent. And this is a positive exponent, and uh, a um, very large number. 